What's going on world? It's your boy Sensei ripping them back again with another video. Today we got a clip from T.I. reacting to the whole Mike Tyson footage that surfaced earlier today. Uh, apparently Tyson was on a flight, a fan kept trolling him, and uh, eventually man Tyson snapped on him. So let's see what T.I. has to say, and I'll catch y'all afterwards with my commentary. Let's get it. You what? Should have what? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? What's, what's up? Going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Like that drink you ain't got from Vanity. Hey, hey. Oh, you got your joint? I was, but he. Yeah, do my thing. Huh? Take the rest of my hat. Take the rest of that. What you think about, uh. You that? So nigga, get out of town. <laughs> I'm talking about that. Nigga, man, what you want? <laughs> nigga, you want something. Reach. Hey, I'm seeing this stuff going on by Mike Tyson, bro. And I'm gonna tell y'all one thing: Mike Tyson is innocent. Mike Tyson is innocent. He was being antagonized, harassed by somebody, man. I saw he was trying his best to ignore it. Y'all don't be got yeah, man. Y'all can't just pull up on people, man, and just expect to do whatever y'all want. You know what I mean? But, um, I support Mike Tyson. You know. And I think, actually, I think he was reserving his strength. But it could have been a little more fucked up than he was. It could have went, you know, totally, totally, totally left. You know, they kind of like, they really like poking a real bear. Like if you go in a bear's cage and you just start messing with him, and all you come out with is a scratch, and you get to go home, shh, man, that's a win. That's a real win. <laughs> uh, but... Birmingham tonight, we at the Star Dome, Ha Ha Mafia. Shout out to San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio, man. They came out, went up last night. I mean, hey man, dear respect come with a consequence. The respect, the respect definitely comes with a con with a consequence, man. I think that you know, you say whatever you want to say, and then the universe is gonna say what it want to say back. When am I coming to LA to perform? It'll be uh this next weekend. I think it's the thirtieth. I think it's the 30. You can't tangle my hair up now. Ain't nobody tangling your hair up. It's already tangled. You know what I mean? Like you're going to do it right now. You're going to do it right. Man, listen, don't get no complaining. I'm just saying. I'm just asking what you're going to do. I just, doing ask it you a right. I just asked you a question. Could you do it with a better attitude? I'm just asking if you could do it with a better attitude. Yeah, I'm tangling you know up your hair. Just ask. Yeah, man, Arizona. Coming to Arizona, too. Coming to Pima, Arizona on the 26th or the 27th. Something like that. You know, you're so rough, man. I'm pulling them out with some flair. With some flair? Yeah. Man, listen, how about you just don't snatch my little scalp off? Nah, help you get a little, a little lay right. Man, this lady here, man. Hey, look, I, I just want to say Mike Tyson innocent. That's it. I support Mike Tyson, man. I think, you know what I'm saying? He was being harassed and he was being bullied. You know what I mean? So I just really, I just really want to say I support Mike Tyson. That's all I want to say. Well. Let's talk about it, y'all. That was T.I. pretty much defending Mike Tyson in this whole incident. And for those who may not know, earlier today, a uh, video surfaced online, courtesy of TMZ, 
of Mike Tyson attending the flight, right? I don't know if they had just landed or get ready to take off, but a passenger was on this flight with Mike Tyson, kept trolling him, kept, you know, antagonizing, man. Eventually, Tyson got tired, man. He snapped and put the paws on, on the passenger, right? Um, you know, looking at the footage, it didn't look too crazy. It, it didn't look like, you know, he really hurt the passenger, but if anything, he pretty much got the point across, leave me the hell alone. You know what I mean? And it's sad that, you know, some of our celebrities in this round, you know, it's like they got to go through this stuff all the time where they always got to be on the defense. You know, they got to tolerate so much BS because fans, you know, they think they're entitled to an autograph, entitled to people's attention and time and not realizing that everyone has the right to their own privacy. You don't know why you want to be disturbed. You know what I'm saying? When you're in your vulnerable moments, it's bad enough. He might Tyson so the whole world know who he is. So in those moments when they just want their peace and they want to be left alone, leave them people alone, man. That's how you know. It's sad that, you know, in situations like this, you either get the attention that you want or you got to put out that lawsuit money. So which one is it? And it's sad because, you know, pretty sure this person in this incident involved in this incident will eventually sue Mike Tyson for the damage, you know, the videos that went out there. You know how it go, man. It's sad that you got to be able to avoid certain situations like this. But, you know, what can you do? You know what I mean? You're sitting there minding your business and some idiot walk up on you trying to, you know, get your attention and troll you into a situation where you have to always just be calm and ignore. Sometimes people don't feel like that, man. You never know, you know, what a person is going through and you could be the, you know what I mean, the camel that, the last straw that broke the camel's back. I know you pretty much heard that. You know, sometimes you never know what a person go through. It could be something so simple and here you go, bump into them, you know, step on a sneak and somebody just explode on. You just never know. That's why you got to leave people alone. And it's sad, like I said, that Mike Tyson got to now sit here and, and deal with this, this foolishness of people trolling. You know what I mean? For those who seen the footage just out there, you know, after the whole incident, you could tell the guy was just looking for his little, you know, a couple seconds of attention. And um, I just hope this don't bite him. You know what I'm saying? The ass for around the sense of just having to kick out, you know, lawsuit money and all that for the damages. Because at the end of the day, man, you know, people just need to leave other people alone. You would think they'd be more conscious and aware, but since he Mike Tyson, you know what I mean? People feel entitled and comfortable to do and say how they please. And now you got what you got, right? You know, one stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's what they say, and here we are. So that's my that's my whole thoughts on this whole situation. What do y'all think? Um, was Tyson in the run for snapping on this passenger, man? What would have you done? You know what I'm saying? What would have you done? Is that how you say it? What would you have done? There we go. What would you have done? God damn. What would you have done in that situation? Right? Person run up on you, get all in your ear. You know what I mean? You going to slap him? Hit him with the backhand? Y'all let me know, man, in the comment section below. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, I'll catch y'all at the next upload. All right? Peace.